Blessed is this holy man who was worthy to be numbered among the apostles, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. Good morning. Today's Mass intentions are for Joe Deckman. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess with all my God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am free to sin in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have said to you, in my thought and in my thought. Therefore, I ask as Mary the Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strongly preached, may be faithfully proclaimed, proclaimed by word and by deed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord and firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the church. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song, the Lord had revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord.
let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Amen. To Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand, where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Son of Encouragement. This is what the name of Barnabas the Apostle literally means, son of encouragement. And in some ways, I'd like to see this feast day is all of your feast day, because you are sons and daughters of encouragement, sent like Barnabas into the world to bring the gospel into the world. I am involved with church things, so to speak, daily. I meet with people in the office, and Christians always, mostly, um, involved with things around here. But you have a particular role in the world to be sent forth as those first disciples and apostles were. Barnabas was not always a Christian. He was born a Jew in Cyprus, and he sold all of his property and gave it to the first apostles. His name was originally Joseph, and when he did this, they gave him the new name, Barnabas, son of encouragement. And this characterizes his life as we see it mostly in the Acts of the Apostles. He encouraged the apostles to accept Paul, uh, who was formerly Saul, who was persecuting Christians. They, they said, I don't know about this guy, but Barnabas encouraged them that his faith was true. Um, we read in today's first reading from the Acts of the Apostles that he was a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit. And by be, being filled with faith in the Holy Spirit, many were converted to Christianity. They saw his witness. And so too, when you go forth into your, your workplaces, into the world, um, many will see your words and your deeds and be converted and be moved back to the love of Christ. This is what Jesus is speaking of in today's gospel. You are the salt of the earth. And I think salt is a great analogy because if we put too much salt on something, no one wants it. It, it just tastes too, too salty, it tastes bad. But if we sprinkle a little here, a little there, as we're called to do in the world, we're called to give flavor, to bring the Christian flavor, if you will, to the world in which we live. And salt also preserves. It, um, it keeps the flavor, uh, keeps foods good for a long time. So too, we're called to, in, our, in the world where we find ourselves, to preserve the good values that are there, the Christian values, to encourage people like Barnabas in them. So on this uh, feast day of Barnabas, the son of encouragement, may we all be inspired to, to like him, to be really a missionary disciple in the world, to be the salt and the light of Christ, to go forth to encourage others, to bring them to Christ. As beloved children of God, we offer the following prayers. For our bishops and priests, may God grant them a spirit of faithfulness and fortitude in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who hold civic office, may the guidance of the Holy Spirit help them enact laws and practices that promote the welfare and dignity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. For those searching for meaning and our direction in their lives, May God open their hearts to his grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For our 
peace in our world for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation and especially for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities let us pray to the lord for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, in trust and confidence, we bring you all of these prayers and the prayers in the depths of our hearts. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Bless you, Lord God, of all creation. Because of your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. So do you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual treasure. Prayer, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Sanctify with your blessing, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here, so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love by which St. Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we have prayed. Holy, holy, to you, their foremost merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop, and all those who holding on to the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, in paying their homage to you, each 
eternal God living in truth. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph for his spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and come among, come among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become from us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal cup, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread, Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the sacrifice, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, open your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share in fellowship 
with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints, amen as we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, to whom you can through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. To the first Lord we pray. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other in the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Because a slave does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father.
us pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed Apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled through Christ our Lord. Amen. Quick announcement that tomorrow, after the 8 a.m. Mass, Joseph, the seminary who is with us for the summer, will give a short three-minute reflection after Mass tomorrow, just after the 8 a.m. Mass. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Say, my Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the the Lord, the the Lord, the the Lord, the Lord, the the Lord, 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 the